This month we are learning all about time. Hi friends and welcome back. I'm so excited to be sharing another story with you guys today. This month we're going to be learning a little bit about time and money. Today we're going to be learning about time. So the story we're going to be reading today friends is a second, a minute, a week with days in it by Brian Cleary. Time can be measured in seconds and minutes, in days or in weeks, months or years, by watches or calendars, cell phones, computers, or clocks that tick tock with years in it. A second is short, like the time that it takes to clap twice, or hiccup, or sneeze, hup choo. It's the time that you need to recite one, 1,000. A minute has 60 of these. A minute is also a unit of time, and 60 short seconds are in it. To run all the bases or climb 40 stairs, these each might be done in a minute. The Pledge of Allegiance four times in a row, or the birthday song four times repeated, both would take close to a minute before the speaking or song was completed. It takes 60 minutes to make up one hour. Your lunch break might just be that long. If you rode your bike or you skated an hour, your legs would sure have have to be strong. See the two hands on the face of that clock in the square, way up high on the tower. When the long one goes all the way around in a circle, that's the time that has passed is one hour. A day is a unit of 24 hours. At midnight, a new day begins. So whatever, so whether it's Monday or Wednesday or Sunday, in 24 hours, it's done. Seven straight days following one to the next is a measure of time called one week. So that's seven lunches and seven good nights and each day after day in a streak. A month might be 30 or 31 days and one February appears on calendars either with 28 days or 29 every four years. We call that a leap year. 12 months in a row is called one year of time. And during that year, you will handle new teachers, more homework, that's 52 weeks. And your cake will add one birthday candle. 10 years as a group is a decade of time. A five-year-old child will have turned 15 years old when a decade's completed. Now let's sum up the facts that we've learned. A decade's 10 years, each with 52 weeks, each week having seven straight days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These days are each made up of 24 hours of sleeping and schoolwork and play. All of these hours contain 60 minutes and inside each minute you will find that there's 60 seconds and I'd explain more but it seems that we've run out of time. So how do we measure time? Do you know? 
We can measure time on a calendar, with a clock, a watch. There's many, many different ways. We even use our cell phones today and our computers to tell the time, as well as to see what day it is and what month. Friends, I hope you learned a little bit from our story today and I hope you join me tomorrow and you have lots of fun. Bye friends.